Hey, Jonathan here. Thank you for joining us as we continue in our study, looking at the Catholic Catechism and understanding this book in light of this book and comparing the two books. Uh, a lot of great resources. If you want a, the complete free ebook Bible study, you can go to trustworthyword.com backslash Catholic. But here is a very important question to consider. Does grace come through the sacraments? Do we receive the Holy Spirit through the sacraments? Here's what the Catechism of the Catholic Church says. It says the whole liturgical life of the church revolves around the Eucharist sacrifice, Eucharistic sorry, sacrifice and sacrifice, sacraments. So here's the seven of them. Baptism, confirmation or chrismation, Eucharist, penance, anointing of the sick, holy orders, and matrimony. It says through the church's sacraments, Christ communicates his holy and sanctifying spirit to the members of his body. It says the communion of the sacrament, sacraments, this, this is what communion means, it's a union, the communion of the sacraments unite us to God. The sacraments confers the grace that they signify. They are efficacious, that means they are working. And the church affirms that for the believers, sacrament, the believers, for believers, sorry, the sacraments of the new covenant are necessary for salvation. Let me read that again. The church affirms that for believers, the sacraments of the new covenant are necessary for salvation. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, here's what the Bible says. It says, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It's a gift, the gift of God, not a result of works, so no one may boast. The Bible also says, let me ask you this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? How do we receive the Spirit? Hearing with faith. Are you so foolish? Having begun by the Spirit, are you now being perfected by the flesh? John 1. All who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. You were born not of flesh and blood, but of the will of, sorry, you were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Listen, if we are not justified by works, then why are the works of the sacraments necessary for salvation? If Romans 8, 15 and Ephesians 1, 5 explain that we've already been adopted, like we're already children of God, then why would we need sacraments to unite us to God if we're already united by adoption as his children? Listen, these are important questions to ask and consider. This is an important study. We need to know what the Bible says, and we need to compare all teachings of men with the Bible to discern if they're true. If this has been helpful to you, I hope you'll check up online, uh, share these resources, maybe do a study with a friend or family. But trustworthyword.com backslash Catholic, you can find more of these free resources.